This tutorial is to teach you how to transfer any hair into any avatar of iClone. So I'm going to use an all iClone avatar, which is the uh, family G5, and that's Gwen, which is the one on the right. And I'm going to send it, this is iClone 7, but you can do it for iClone 5, iClone 6, or 7, okay? You need to send this avatar into 3D Exchange. In this case, I'm going to open up the folder where I have that avatar, which is this one right here. And I'm going to drop it into 3D Exchange. Once it's there, I'm going to select a hair. I double click on the on the hair and it should say the lo the one with the longer nom name and you have to scroll down on the right panel you scroll down until you find the mesh replace mesh and you're going to export okay the mesh and save it in a folder that you want it to go to and give it a name i'm going to give it the name of short hair F for female and press OK and it's safe. Now you're going to go to that particular folder where you saved it and uh, you're going to find the OBJ file which is this one right here in my case and I'm going to drop it in the 3D exchange again. Now we're going to go up and we're gonna align it. So align to ground and align to center. And then I'm gonna press the little house right here, the little house icon. So it's already aligned and now we're gonna export it. But let's see, align to ground once again. So press align to center and then align to ground, okay? And then we're gonna export it. So file export and make sure that you have these selections okay and over here i selected other because i wanted a particular destination folder that i want so in this case the destination folder is one that's called hair converted for me if you don't have a destination you want to have a particular destination you can press the browse button and then just assign whatever destination you want whether it's a desktop or something else in this case i'm just going to use that one and i'm going to press ok and i'm going to go to that folder which should be right here right next to this one and i find the the prop in this case is a prop <clears throat> i'm going to go to iclone i'm going to drop it anywhere i want and you can see that it's behind uh, the two girls and uh, with any of these icons selected for the move i'm gonna right click and i'm gonna attach it to the head of this avatar over here so it's already attached i'm gonna go down and i'm gonna find where the attachment is and i'm gonna press these uh, uh, dots right here and I'm going to select position. So, and I press OK. So it's already right over the head of this avatar. I'm going to uh, hide the other hair the avatar had, which is this one right here. And I'm going to select that hair that I just uh, put. As you can see, I already have one because I, I did it. I was making sure it was in the right place. So I'm going to hide the one that I just uh, placed there and I'm going to uh, unhide the other one, which is already in its place. OK, now once it's there, it's not a prop anymore. It's an accessory. So we need to save this. We go to the content tab and as you can see, I already have it saved, but I'm going to overwrite it anyway. So I'm going to press the plus sign. If uh, you don't want to overwrite anything, make sure nothing is selected over here and just press that plus sign. In this case, it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite it. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to do a close up of the face. And I create thumbnail. Mm, maybe 
something like this. Okay. Now we're gonna show something else here. This well, th this is pretty much everything you need to do to to save any here, and you can use it with whatever avatar you want you can use a combination of different kinds of hair like this is one kind of hair but you may have one that has longer hair probably you want to put that too because it's going to be an accessory so you can put as many accessories as you want and as many as your computer can handle and the program can handle because sometimes it can get a little bit you know um uh, glitchy so anyways uh i'm gonna and hide one of the other avatars that I have over here. Let me see. We are on this one. I actually think I have, uh, yeah, I have the gown and I have this one right here, which is a mermaid, I believe. No, it's not a mermaid. Okay, it's a bride. Uh, okay, I'm gonna unhide all the hair that she has. One more right here. Okay, we're gonna select that and we're gonna go to the content tab and double click double click on the one that you saved already and it's there, you see? And with this I finished this tutorial. Thank you.